Hi everyone, this is Miss Grace from the Melbourne Beach Library and today I am showing you how to make a comic collage bookmark. As you can see from my example, I made a Marvel Ladies bookmark. I have Black Widow, Captain Marvel, and Scarlet Witch. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Spider-Man collage bookmark. And don't freak out, the comics I am using are free. They are old comics from Comic Fest or Free Comic Book Day. Um, so if this is something you want to do, you can absolutely go to your comic book store and ask them if they have any leftovers. You don't have to use a brand new comic book. These are old. Again, they're free, so don't worry about that. Um, so pick whichever character you want, or you can pick multiple. You will also need some scrap paper or um, some fresh cut cardstock. This is cardstock and whatever color. I'm going to use red today for Spider-Man. Um, but you can use whatever color you want. I do use cardstock because it's a little bit more sturdy than just regular paper. You're going to need Mod Podge, which is just a sticky craft glue. You can use regular glue, um, but I like Mod Podge because it does stick better and it helps to lay things flat a little bit better. Uh, you will also need a paintbrush to apply the Mod Podge and you will need scissors to help cut out the pictures from your comic book. Okay, so I have pre-cut all my pieces from the same comic book you saw beforehand. So these are the images I chose. And like I said, we're doing red. I feel like that fits the Spider-Man theme. So before you even do anything with the Mod Podge or your glue, take your pieces and start kind of assembling them um, how you would like them. Get an idea of where everything's gonna go. I think this one would look good. And they don't have to be perfect, right? You don't have to try and remake a whole comic book scene. It's more of, it's a collage, so it's kind of just wherever works. Let's see. We'll try to make this one fit down in here. And it's okay if there's a teeny bit of blank space. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can always cut just random background scenes if you want to fill in every blank space. You make it completely your own. So I think we'll do this. Something like that. Oh, I think we'll put Spider-Man like that. Once you figure out exactly how you want it, you will just take it apart piece by piece. I know this is the scary part, remembering how it's gonna go. Take them off, and then from here, we will start applying the Mod Podge. Okay, so I have dipped my paintbrush in the Mod Podge and I'm not gonna do the whole bookmark. I'm just gonna start section by section. So I'm gonna start over here. It shouldn't dry too fast, but I just don't want the whole thing to be super sticky. Okay, we'll just go back in for some. You can also apply the Mod Podge to the back of the pieces of the comic book. I'm doing this just because it's a little bit easier to hold down rather than do every individual piece. Okay, so I'm gonna lay this aside. We'll take our first piece here and stick it on. And just press down like you would normally anytime you glue something down. And then I will get more Mod Podge and we'll move on to the next section here. And don't worry if there's any leaking out, Mod Podge dries completely clear. So no worries there, your glue won't be a problem. So don't be afraid to get a little messy with things. Okay, so next, let's see. Just making sure, I think we'll put our Spider-Man there. And just keep going with your Mod Podge. a little bit, let's see. 
while the Mod Podge is still wet, you kind of have a short window of time to move things around. Okay, and then we're gonna let the Mod Podge dry. And this is our finished bookmark. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can make it how you want it. You can add more than one character. You can change up the style, whatever you want. And then the most important part of having our bookmark is our book to go with it. So perfect. We have a Spider-Man comic graphic novel. Mm -hmm. And there you can see where we left off. There's our Spider-Man with his Gwen Stacy reminding us where we left off and where we can go to later. And there is our bookmark.